My problem is list square optimization. Here is the content layout. At first I will talk about the problem statement, then its history, application and limitation. Then I will talk how it approach to solve a problem. Then I, I will end with a practical example. Now problem statement. This method optimizes a model by adjusting parameters which can best fit a data set. It optimizes parameter in a way such that sum of square residuals reaches to a minimum value. In simple expression we can write S equal minimum of summation of Ri square from I equal 1 to N. Residual is the error between the actual observed value of the dependent variable and the value that predicted by the model r equal y minus function of x beta vector. Here beta vector is, an, is a set of adjustable parameters x is an independent variable and y is a dependent variable it depends on x. A simple linear model that can be fit for a square list score optimization is y equal beta naught x plus beta now its history this method it was grew up during the age of exploration that means within 15th to 17th century of the field of ge geodesy there's a branch of applied mathematics and in the field of astronomy at that time Sailors then navigated their ships in open seas by observing behavior of astronomical bodies that includes asteroids, planets, moons, stars, etc. To provide accurate descri description of the behavior of these astronomical bodies, scientists as well as mathematicians they applied this approach. Now in 1805, Adrian Murray legendary, he first described an algebraic procedure for fitting linear equations to data and used this technique for determining shape of, shape of earth. In 1809, Carl Friedrich Gauss, he published his method of calculating the orbit of astronomical bodies by the method of least square. He successfully connected this method with the principles of probability and to the normal distribution function. But the credit of least square method it usually goes to Carl Gauss. Now its application. This method optimizes an overdetermined system. What is overdetermined system? It is a system where the number of equations is greater than number of unknowns. List square method is an widely applied optimization method for modeling. Most important application of this method is in data fitting. Using this method, one can study trends in revenue, cost, production, etc. And also, one can determine singular relative composition using this technique. Using SVT approach, one can compress an image by reducing its pixel. Thus, data stores in computer can be reduced. Here is a picture set where the picture is originally was k equal 5 on 12. There is a rank of the picture. It was reduced to k equal 128. That means it was reduced to fourth times. But list square has some limitations. At first, this method does not provide normal distribution of error. So, for highly non adult system, data extrapolation is really poor. It is very sensitive to unusual data point. Even one or two unusual data point can lead a system far away from the true value. 
it's not applicable for dynamic system where variable changes with time its approach to problem solving in statistical systems some linear models are at first i will talk about a straight line it's a y equal beta not plus beta 1 x already described earlier a simple quadratic curve where y equal beta not plus beta 1 x plus beta 2 x square then a logarithmic function where y is a function of beta not plus beta 1 ln of x and also a transcendental function that's given by below now let's consider the simplest case it's a linear least square optimization problem where y equal beta naught plus beta 1 x the sum of a square error can be described by s equal summation of r i whole square where summation from i equal 1 to n here is the expression for minimizing error del s by del beta naught equal 0 as well as del s by del beta 1 equal 0 which gives this following two equation now using Kramer's rule we can easily determine these parameters beta naught and beta 1 here is an practical example a power function that can be described by this following relation where Nusselt number is a function of Reynolds number and Prandtl number Nusselt number is the ratio of convective heat transfer to conductive heat transfer and Prandtl number is the ratio of viscous diffusion rate to the thermal diffusion rate but for a specific fluid Prandtl number is constant so Nusselt number is just a power function of Reynolds number in logarithmic form we can write ln of Nusselt number equal m ln of Reynolds number plus ln of c which is similar to a simple straight line that is y equal beta naught plus beta 1 x now we have a set of experimental data we have five data set here is the values for Reynolds number and also for Nusselt number by least square optimization we got our parameters here is the parameter for beta naught and beta 1 so the thermal model is we can write in simple form y equal 0 0.801612 x minus 3.08448 here is the table here x e equal ln of Reynolds number y e equal ln of Nusselt number here e is the experimental values and here is the values for our y model that came from our model and also the values for r square and r now what is r square this one is the coefficient of determination here is the expression for r square that is summation of y experimental minus y mean square minus summation, summation of y experimental minus y model square divided by summa, summation of y experimental minus y mean square so this value tells us that 99.99 percent data that can be explained by our model we also cross checked our model with Microsoft Excel result here is the plot that can be obtained from Microsoft Excel which gives the same model that is obtained by our approach so that's all for my presentation thanks everyone